puzzles. Puzzles. But let's see, what is, oh. I thought there was a Toronto board game for a second. See what I mean? Got all excited. It's not a, it's not a Toronto board game, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Quirky Game Hunting. Today's episode is very specific. So we're out and about today. We're thrifting. It's another thrifting day. Uh, we're not doing old school vintage vin antiques this time. We're just doing thrift stores. But specifically, we're just hitting value villages. So I'm actually starting today's journey in Toronto because I've been in Toronto all weekend long for a board game design um, convention, Protospiel. So I decided to start here. We're gonna hit the value village that I'm close to and then I'm gonna drive back to my home. And on the way, I might take a few stops in a few cities and just peruse at any value village I come across. I'm looking to hit somewhere between four and five of them. I think that's what I can probably fit in, uh, but we'll see what we can find and we'll go from there. Man, this place is... Here. This is like this is like the biggest value village I've ever been in. Toronto, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of aisles. Bingo. Well, I see something already. This one's a bit pricier because it's Lord of the Rings, probably. But I'm willing to bet that this has. Oh yeah, yep. See, I'm highly tempted by this already because that's, I mean, not only could I use these pieces, but also it's Lord of the Rings and that's pretty cool. Not all of the pieces were present in that one. So for 10 bucks, I think I might pass. Marvel chess checkers. A lot of these things are, oh, here we go. Finance, the board game. Parker Brother game for the whole family. Finance for the whole family. Eight-year-olds be playing finance games, I guess, back in the day. Walking Dead game. Probably would be cooler if there was some zombie pieces or something in there. What else? You got lots of puzzles. Sometimes these stores will completely separate puzzles from games. It doesn't look like this place has, which makes things a little bit harder. But can still work with that. Yahtzee's good for some free dice. Puzzle. Oh, look at that. $7.99. Unopened clue. See, sometimes you can get factory sealed stuff here, which is why it's worth a look, because I got a copy of um, Pandemic at a value village. Factory sealed, brand new, 12 bucks. So it's always worth the look. The Smithsonian kits. Oh, what's the, the, pi the pirate kit? I don't know if we're gonna come away with anything this time. None of this stuff is really catching my eye. Just looking for cool pieces and stuff, you know? Although, I did see a cool, yeah, see something like this. I don't know what this is, but if you're making a word game, again, lots of accessible stuff in there. Okay, so nothing really there, but we're gonna look for the section that is all the individual bagged pieces and bagged toys, because you can find board game parts in there, which I covered on my TikTok once, so let's take a look. Literally right beside, so let's see. See, we have all kinds of things here. Oh look, see, actual chess and board stuff. You can grab those pieces, right? That's pretty cool. Oh, now that is cool. This bag actually has the game The Mind in it, and this was actually on a list for like top 10 like creepy games to play at Halloween um, because you sort of get in your in your other players' heads. But to see that in there with whatever else is in there for $2.99 is pretty rad. So that's kind of that's kind of a little win here. What do we got here? More tokens. I might actually pick that up. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Okay, so nothing there, but we still have to go to the toys because the toys can yield the same result because we got the packaged goods. So let's go see what we can find. So I'm off to stop number two. I've had to layer up because it's 
raining like crazy. It became such a crazy rainy day, like just downpour all of a sudden. So I'm actually heading back north towards my hometown uh, from Toronto. But we're going to uh, see if we can find another one on the way, another Valley Village. Uh, and try and stay dry. Probably going to stop for a coffee too. store is extremely organized and clean and I love it. Crosswords for dummies. What else we got? Random fuzzy briefcase. I think it's backgammon. Monopoly. Survivor, the game. Looks like just trivia. Fishing game. See, now I would not be opposed if I really needed some kind of bugs or something. You could probably pick that up and you would do quite well for yourself. Me match risk again is always a pretty decent option if you need military parts. What else we got? Hey look, true pursuit. Fake news or not, checkers. The path. Mind bender. Fiendish series of diabolical puzzles designed to bend your mind, if not actually snap it. Cool. This is quirky game hunting after all, and I'd say that's definitely on track. I'm not really seeing anything. Privilege. Not really seeing anything that stands out. Pictionary Junior. Survivor the game. See, okay. So, this is not bad. If I was doing something nature themed or outdoor themed, which there's a very large chance I could be, uh, we could get some tokens and some nice dice. That's actually not bad. It's, uh,. $5.99. I don't know if those parts are worth $5.99 if I wanted them. Alright, we found puzzles, which it always deceives me. You get all excited because you see the boxes and you're like, ah, oh, it's puzzles. That's fine. Puzzles are great. But we're not looking for puzzles. We are looking for this over here. Down there. Packaged goods that are pre-set up for us. That's not at all what I thought it was. <laughs> But we're looking for little parts that have, I mean, look, this one's got a Rubik's Cube in it. It's kind of cool. But we're looking for, like, cards and things like that. I mean, if you can manage to get Lego, it's not terrible as a, as a prototyping piece. But then eventually, if you go further with that, it ends up just looking like you're playing with Lego. But here's what I'm talking about, kind of. Well, this is the section, but it looks like we got some heavy bag of poker chips. You got some dice in there. Looks like some card things. Mostly just playing cards. I don't think we're going to find anything today. These are cool. Foam dominoes. Playing cards. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything today in terms of parts. Oh, here we go. We got some stuff here. We got Uno. We got Pass and Play. I actually bought that once before for the dice and the chips. That's not bad. I don't know. It looks like there are... Oh, I can't even see that. Sorry. World of Warcraft cards. Interesting. Interesting. Well, not really much going on. Not in here today. Sorry, I was way too close. Uh, yeah, there isn't really much there, so I think I'm just going to have to... Although this place is extremely organized and clean, uh, which was great, I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, head on the road and I'll go to the third stop along the way. I'm actually almost back in my hometown, so I might just go to the value villages in my town, but on to the next. Alright, so we're in number three. I ended up just driving all the way home because the weather is so bad on the highway from 
rain and just lots of traffic. So I said, I'm just going to go home and I'm going to go to local, excuse me, my local, sorry, my local value village and see what's going on there. I've had a lot of success in my local value village. Actually, we have two, but there's a new one, this one, and uh, the really organized, the board game section is massive and big. So I'm going to go check it out and uh, see what we can find. Puzzles. Puzzles. But let's see. What is... Oh. I thought there was a Toronto board game for a second. See what I mean? Got all excited. It's not a, it's not a Toronto board game. It's a puzzle. <laughs> that says payday. I think it's another payday. Yeah, payday. I have found some really, like, interesting, rare stuff at this, this one before. Um... And there was one day when I came in and I saw a gentleman buying all... I got here like two minutes too late and there was a bunch of like really popular games that were missing some pieces and stuff, but he was going through them and he ended up taking them all and I was a little bit sad. So, what that is. Original Clue, looks like. This is Mastermind, Sorry... Destinations. Interesting. Uh, oh, what's this? The Great Detective Game. The Great Detective. What? Oh, it's it's Cluedo. This is this is Clue. This is old Clue. An old version of. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's obviously Clue, but Miss Scarlet Crow and Mustard Man is just a really original version. I don't know why it's called Cluedo. But that's interesting. When I got down here, Yahtzee, I don't think we're coming away with anything today. Looks pretty bare. All right, so we're moving on to the package goods. Uh, has to be the toy version though, to see what we got. And see, there's some cool things right Look, we got dots of some kind, Sudoku, stuff that you could potentially use. We got a bag full of colored, interesting old school, like school dominoes. That could be something. The NASCAR parts, more dominoes here. What else do we got? Let's see here. Anything, not seeing anything that's parts. Looking for dice, stuff like that. Oh, we got some stuff down here actually. Oh, interesting. There you go, $3.99, look at this. A big cube with numbers. We got all kinds of dice. I am a sucker for dice, so that's pretty cool. More dominoes, it looks like a chess, chess set. And a little yo-yo, it's kind of random and some backgammon things, but I mean, again, these backgammon things right here. Great tokens, absolutely great tokens. I'm a little tempted, but I don't think it's necessary. So I might skip out on that one. Oh, here we go. See, now this is awesome. Containers of mixed matched Risk soldiers with a whole bag of pawns. There's a dice in there, a die in there. And it's a buck 99. That's pretty darn good for $1.99. That's what I'm talking about. This is why you come to this section. This is also why you have to look behind things. The game of things. So even if I'm not coming away with the game, I had a win and one of my favorite types of wins. So we're gonna get to the car so I can show you. But it is directly linked to always check behind other bags. I didn't look behind far enough and well, I caught something cool. Okay, so solid win. And it, I was gonna start this by saying, oh, you know, huge find, when in fact it's actually a really small find. But um, it's like it was just meant to be. Always check behind the bags, not just the ones in front. You gotta look. So I got this package, $2.99, and oh, it's backwards. Um, but here's the kicker. 
The fact that this is my only find of the day in three value villages, I'm totally okay with because it's something that I've touched on before. Do I want this copy of Guess Who? Absolutely not. I, that's fine. It's a McDonald's Guess Who. Don't really need that. It looks like we have one whole stack of, uh, of opened Uno cards and a stack of unopened Uno cards, which is actually fine. You can take those, use them for something. But here's the real win. A bag of Rory's Story Cubes mixed. So mixed Story Cubes. There's one, two, three... Four, five, six. There are nine cubes in here. I have no idea what. I haven't looked inside yet. They got this nice little drawstring bag, but I'm super stoked because everyone knows how much I love my Rory Story cubes, and I'm always finding these cool ones in the thrift stores. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna open this up, and I want to see one by one what I got out of these Story cubes. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a win for the day. Three value villages, a little bit of travel coming out of the city. And I got story cubes in a cool little pouch. Stoked. Let's go open them up. Oh, side note. I also found a bag for 50 cents, a bunch of dominoes and some plastic pawns and some numbered bingo balls. But the main thing was another sand timer. I don't know how long it is, but it's worth the 50 cents because sand timers can be hard to come by and you usually have to buy them in sets of four or five dollars. So awesome. Uh, and a $1, sorry, 50 cent bag of uh, some Dice Masters characters. That was um, a grand total of under $5. Under $5 for a bunch of great stuff. All right, so we're back home. We hit three stores. We came away with all small stuff, all mini stuff, which is awesome. That's cool too. No board games today, but there was a big little win. So let's zoom in. Let's take a look at what we got and go from there. All right, item number one. This was the 50 cent bag of goodies. And I was really just after this For the sand timer because believe it or not those can be hard to come by for cheap prices you can get ones at like dollar store sometimes but they're often just like not ideal numbers i don't know how long this one is but uh i'll test it out and then we have a couple random just teeny tiny pawns of some kind which is actually cool because there's one of each color. I always like to see that. One ran, actually this must have been one game because these guys are all the same size and then a random blue pawn. We got these oh, bingo balls, I guess is what they are. Numbers on them? They must be 070, G60, yeah, for sure. That's still cool. Uh, a bunch of dominoes. Not really in it for these guys, but there's always a use for board game parts like this. So this is the real winner. Second thing was 50 cent bag of Dice Masters. Now, I haven't played Dice Masters in a while. My older brother really is the one who collects it, but it's always cool to find something like this in a store, Lady Deadpool. Motorcycle, just a straight up motorcycle. Medusa, Agent Carter, holographic. Oh, there you go. We pulled a hollow. Agent Carter, Black Bolt, Lady Deathpool. Deathpool, Deadpool. That's pretty cool. I do love the the um, Dice Masters dice, though. Like, they really are very, very cool. They're pretty accurate, too, the ones that they usually use for each character. Agent Carter. <laughs> Obviously, now I know that this one is the motorcycle. Stuff like that, so. Cool. And then the last bag, which was similar to that, had this stack of Uno cards. Not really a big deal. This is like the third stack I own. Uh, this one is unopened, which is actually cool. I think I might add this into future playtest night uh, prize packages, which is always fun. People like that kind of stuff. And uh, a McDonald's Guess Who, which I probably also won't take apart because if I'm being honest, I might take some of these things and repackage them and then re-donate them. <laughs> back to the thrift store that I just got them from and they'll repackage it up again because all I wanted uh what what, what was uh, left in the bag and that's the real win winner
some Rory's Story Cubes, the thing that I'm always on the hunt for. I actually feel like a kid again when you go out to get like Pokemon cards or Magic cards or something like that, and you're like, oh, what's inside? I can't wait. It's like a booster pack. Uh, I have not opened this yet. I love the little bag. Definitely going to hang on to that for sure. Uh, and let's do this one by one. Let's open them up. Let's see what is first. We got something purple, a purple dye. I don't remember what that one was a part of, the purple set. But it looks like we got uh, a gavel, a city, chess piece, heart, fingerprint. Oh, I think this is clues. This was part of the clue set, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, microscope. Cool. Next. A pink one. I think pink is enchanted stuff, if I'm not mistaken. We got a well, a mirror, of course. Uh, tiara. And, yep, looks like someone down the rabbit hole. A little fairy. That was it, right? Oh, and a castle on the hill. God, these are so... I love story cubes. They're so awesome. Next. I didn't even know they made toss-up bags. This one is... Oh, I think I actually have this one already. I might have got this in another clue package, but this is, yeah, it's like blood, spider web. Looks like a safe. Yeah, definitely a safe. Handcuffs, DNA. Yeah, I think that was also part of the clues. Clues one. Next, uh, another enchanted one. Maybe these were just the three enchanted boxes. You know what? It would be kind of funny, actually, if the three boxes that I had got before... Um, like separately on one of my other adventures that was in one of my other videos, if it's the same ones, but they happen to be in this bag. Uh, I'll have to compare them afterwards and see. Oh, I don't think so. I don't remember an awesome... Where is it? An awesome wooded forest or a gnome or a birdcage or a... That's an intense looking... Now that looks like something scary there. Oh, yeah. Howling wolf. That's pretty cool. Also, I think Enchanted, but I don't think I have that one. So this is, uh, oh, yep, Prehistoric. Maybe this is just another set of, another version of the set that I had got previously. Of course, I have to, I know that there's more than just three to a set, so I have to check and see if, uh, oh, yep, another uh, a rat, another Clues one. This might be the same. Yeah, another prehistoric. Again, I don't know if these are the same the same prehistoric dice, though, because I thought they made more than just three of each expansion. So we'll check that out after. But even so, it's cool to see these up close. Caveman, lobster, triceratops or whatever. That's not triceratops. I think these might be a little bit different. I'm going to check out and see. But that is still pretty cool that I managed to find these in a different little bag. Uh, if I happen to have extras, no big deal. Awesome find. That's what I'm on the hunt for all the time. Good games or Rory Story Cubes. Okay, everybody. So that's pretty much it. It was um, it was a successful day. I think I really only found one thing for me, but, but it's a great. It was a great thing. I love those Story Cubes. Um, and I found a couple other knickknacks, which was cool that I can use, um, and a few things that I can either repurpose uh, or just give back or redonate, which is cool. So that was it. I, I was trying to hit around. Four or five value villages only made it to three because of the weather uh, but i was still overall pretty happy you know what it is it's super relaxing to walk through those stores as well and find cool little things that you know are going to serve an awesome purpose that you're not breaking the bank for and that's kind of my whole thing right whether it's crafting uh or game hunting or anything it's uh, about not breaking the bank so that is it for us today um episode five is going to be uh i don't want to spoil anything but the place I'm going is massive, and I'm going to leave it at that. Until next time, until next week, uh, thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get that little ding whenever I have a new episode. And uh, we'll see you next weekend. Thanks a lot, everyone.